Welcome back everyone, Trey Coggins with you again for some more EU4 as the Prince of Prussia, Emperor of Germany. Uh, it is uh, time to party like it's 1699, June 25th actually, 1699, so, you know, mm, well, it's past that day of the year right now, but it should have been when I released this video. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. Should have been about that day, but um, I have had some fun, wonderful things going on in my world outside of the YouTubes. So apologies for the delay for those of you who are watching this as it comes out. I apologize, you may very well be catching the... Uh, channel update for the July channel update uh, before you get this, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us this far. I hope you're enjoying it. We're going to continue right on through, like I said before, to 1821, to the end game scenario. Never finished one and certainly never done one on the YouTube. So let's keep going here. We have uh, some things going on. It's been quite a while since I've recorded. So I'm going to have a, take a moment to look around at things. We've got 12,000 ducats in store. That's decent. Uh, 200,000 short of our max manpower. And uh, yeah, we're indefinitely in a fairly heated war. We have uh, a goal to take Linz. And uh, it is uh, started in uh, 1699. So the war is just getting going here. It is, what did it say? Nationalism casts his belly. That's right. <clears throat> so... Jobs to take this. That sounds easy. But we're kind of against a few, op a little bit of opposition. Like, the world that's not pre recently at war with us is now at war with us. So we get Austria, Naples, the, uh, I think the Papal States in there, Mantua, Portugal, Spain, and all of their friends and foes, or friends and allies. Uh, Poland and Lithuania as well. So it's a big, hello, young lady. Uh, screaming in the background, my little baby girl. She's part of the delays. She's been sick recently, so nothing serious, nothing bad. She's just a uh, baby sort of things, combined with lots of teething and not lots of sleeping, so that passes its way down the family line um, in different ways. Uh, too many leaders, not of an issue to us. We're going to get rid of a bunch of this nonsense we don't need on the page there. Uh, leaving us with these. Okay, so we got uh, provinces lacking cores. I think we can core them as they come available to do so. We are... Yes, we are 16 years ahead of time in the admin tech. I don't know if I did that early. I hope I didn't. Maybe? Yeah, we're 10 years ahead of time. I did. We're 10 years ahead of time in Diplo. Oops, shouldn't have, shouldn't have grabbed that tech yet. Silly, silly Drake. Okay. Uh, and we are still 10 years, or one year rather. I said 10. I meant 10% ahead of time on the military. So we're dealing with uh, new tactics coming up once we get this ready. Somebody else is probably going to pop it before we get there. So... Eh, not great. Do we have neighbor bonus? I guess nobody is friendly that would neighbor bonus us, are they? There's some 24s. Did I say we're at 23? Yeah, we are. So when we're fighting the Austrian troops, we're getting a big hit there because they have the tactics bonus. Same as the Portuguese troops. Okay. Uh, around the world, we have, uh, you know, fronts all over the New World is definitely going to be a hot topic for the day uh, we are done yeah we didn't we didn't get ourselves in a double war here which is probably a good idea because we have uh, German Louisiana here and Canada and uh, New Brandenburg to defend that spot we do still have our ally or our whatever he's called our colony of Cuba is actually still at war with somebody I think Oh no, it's just our war now. That's good. They're out of that one. What do we got going on here? Venezuela is losing territory to whom? Portuguese Colombia. And handing it to Austria. That's kind of amusing. Portuguese Colombia has probably never been near Austria and vice versa. But we got battles to be had, so let's keep it up. Where is our hunting fleet? We have a fleet of 174 here. I think we split it and... I think we split up the fleet, and then we go hunt. Uh, oh, pause, pause, pause. Split this fleet, and the first one, and the second one, you can grab a new leader. He'll grab an, an admiral. Uh, that's actually quite good. And then I'll send them both off to 
hunt enemy fleets in the... Is this the Atlantic? North Atlantic, I guess? Hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. Sounds good. Okay, and you can uh, probably head in this way. How are we going over there? We got the Austrians getting their butts kicked in there. Chased everybody out on that side. The Austrian army. Do we bring these guys in or do we... No, I don't think we do. How are we doing here? We're pulling a fight starting. No, it looked like they were all coming at me, but they're not. Bros. Alright. So let's see if I can actually hoodwink one of these fleets. That would be lovely. Open bank would be great. Do that. See if you can get in a fight out there. That would be fantastic. I want to start knocking off those fleets ASAP. Alright, but back over here, we got these 97 odd dudes. Let's uh, group them up. Split. Uh, do that. So, Poland is unfortunately no longer our ally, and I don't think we'll ever get them back as an ally. We got a stack wipe on that hit. That was good. That was very nice. Um. This army would definitely be stack wiped because it's uh, severely off balanced. I wonder if we can get in there at them. We can't. Can we hit that? Yeah, but we're not going to get a fight. So, unless I uh, speed walk. Nope. Still not going to get a fight. We'll take that off then. I'm okay with that fight going on. I'm going to bring the speed. I might have to bring the speed down here. There's, a, there's just a lot going on in various different places. So, I want to make sure that we have. Oops. Of leaders in the right places. You should move back here. German occupica occupation? Occupation. That's the word, Drake. That's precisely what the word was. Occupation. Uh, I think we'll leave these actually as 50 stacks rather than the ones that they've, the numbers they've got right now. Uh, you are what? You know what? You, that's not gonna work. You guys all come here. I did that badly. I forgot about our auto uh, divide for Space Marine contingents. Poland has taken some turf up there. Now, what is our priorities here? Are we going to hit Austria first, or should we? I mean, I'm taking some of the Austrian mountain territories as I can, but I think we're going to start hacking out. Uh, Mantua is not a co-belligerent. Taking the province is okay. This is... May not negotiate separate peace with Mantua or Moldavia or Lithuania. Naples we can. Poland we can. New Spain we cannot. Uh, Portugal we cannot because they are a junior partner under Spain. Okay, so it's going to be Spain, Poland, Naples, and Austria. I think we'll start with Naples as our first priority then. But I want to knock out some of these... Some of these uh, fortresses early on the west here, so we have access through cleanly there. Uh, there's 25,000 dudes there about to get jumped hardcore. Let's get the boys here to hustle on over and join them. The 7K is going to pop in from Ulm. You guys are doomed. You have Ulmian troops coming at you. Mm-hmm. We have no general there. His general will ho help to hold them off. It's even fight now. Poland occupying more territory in the quick snag in the north. <clears throat> Not giving it all to Austria, oddly enough. That was one they actually wanted for themselves. They have strange notions of reality. Oh, he's got reinforcements. Can we get in there in time? Oh, yes, they did. Okay, they, they did get in there in time, which is fantastic. Uh, where were you guys headed? You guys are headed to Salzburg. Do we make that shift in time to hit him? There. We'll get them there. We'll get somebody there. Good. And now you guys here are grouping up. Now I want to actually break off a Space Marine Corps and move it down. And then I want to break off another Space I love this conform to template thing. It is absolutely fantastic. And there. Actually this way would be lovely. And then you guys can also conform to and go that way. Good. That should actually be five troops, 125 uh, units down there. 
Truce with the Cherokee has ended. Yeah, okay. No problem. Uh, do we hit him in time? I think we do. What do we hit? The 25? Oh, yes. Okay, that was not, uh, not great. That's the capital of New Spain, conveniently enough. Wouldn't mind, sep I guess I can't, I was going to say, separating those guys out, but we can't because they're, I can't actually have them piece off and hand things away. Um, let's do the Dutch and Westphalian area first. Uh, this is not in the area, and their truce with us ends in 1703, so four years away, so probably before this war is over. Minus 14, minus 48, and the siege is there. A lot of death toll going here. We got nabbed some more ships. That's the Spanish. There's a Spanish fleet we hit there. Uh, 25k up here we can probably get its butt back to the front line, right? Let's head down this way. Oh, oh, rethink that, guys. Really? You're going to let me at that? You need a general, and you need to be a good one. He is going to go through with it. I want to hit him with max troop count I can. Because he's locked in there with only 51k units. He's going to get pounded. He's got 100,000 dudes in his face right now. With a three star general leading it. He's getting obliterated. Look at the numbers. And the morale crash. Are we going to take him out? I don't think we'll get a stack right there. Goodness, that was a lot of deaths on both sides. Can we make chase? Spanish uh, fleet found the one of the German patrol fleets. Uh, you can probably come down this way. Up out in Austria, we gotta we gotta break Austria, I think, before we can do much else. Uh, back over here, this fleet can actually start patrolling for hunting enemy fleets, also in the North Atlantic. I just want to dominate the North Atlantic there because there's going to be a lot of ships I can destroy in the process. Right, you guys can come in here. There's no chance to do the whole let them run their own sieges all over the place. That's just not a safe way to do it in my opinion right now. I want to siege out a lot of Austria's territory. There we go. We got the new Spain capital here. Is there any other fortresses in the area? There is one down there. Portuguese Mexico. Portuguese Mexico is over here too. Where is Portuguese Mexico's capital? That's worth something. Let's do that one. Um, I wish I could kind of tell these guys to do things specifically, but France is not in this war. None of these guys are involved in anything here. The Chickasaw, they're growing nicely. Well done. That'd be a fun, fun let's play. Doing a uh, uh, North American let's play. Uh, more coring we can do. Cumbria, Cumbria, England. Yeah, we can core England. We got, there we go, snagged another seven ships of the Spanish Peru. We're sailing through the channel. <coughs> How'd they do? They didn't do so well. We killed them all and took two of them. We killed five, sank five of them and took two of them. That's excellent. Uh, if you grabbed a general, an available general, and instead of running where you are running, you just stop there for a second. Uh, okay. Before you guys go anywhere else, can you... Ditch out here, oh no, ditch out here, then that's fine. Oh, 
Okay, uh, come down this way. You come down this way. Where are you guys heading? Hudson. Shut that off. Um, you could actually start sieging this. I'm not sure if they'll let me uninterruptedly. There's a 0% chance of that. We're breaking it. That's good. You can now go into run mode and see if you can get a hold of this guy. That'd be lovely if you could get in there. This is going to be a long war, guys. Don't expect this to be over any time. Oh, hello. Naples. You got yourself another art, uh, another fight, don't you? Who is it? Uh, what is it over? Tunisian Mamlukian Imperialist War. Wow. Um, Mamluks are allied with Naples. The war with Tunis, Ottomans, Alaska, and the Ottoman Colombia. Alaska? That's, did I read that right? Alaska is a nation? Alaska, hello. My goodness, are you, are you kidding me? The Ottomans have set up Alaska. This is something I have never seen before in a game. The Ottomans colonized Alaska. What? <laughs> what? Russian Tartari. Hmm, they need to beat the Uzbeks down if they want to get a proper big solid name. Apparently that's not on their first priority list. But let's go back to the war. Zoom. Slow zooming. Okay, uh, we do have an attack coming down here on these guys. And that is unfortunate because they're not set properly at all. Switch and get up there. They'll make it there. These guys would not make it there in time. 37,000 will have a hard time against them simply because they're at such low morale when they hit. Oh, but they got 20,000 coming in. 36, 35, 8. Hold off. Remember, my friends. Remember. Oh, we lost the battle. It's all right. We're about to hit them with this group, which is 44,000. Should make some serious. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, no, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted or how I wanted it. That's gonna be a rough fight. You will probably win it, but ooh, harsh. See, manpower is just gonna be a big issue here. Big, big issue. Reformed refugees. Uh, that's fine. I didn't even read it. I'm kind of busy in a battle. Oh no, 31,000 dudes are coming in. General's going to get out. I think we pull him out before he gets broken. What? What? Come on. Okay, go. Doesn't take water to cross there, dude. It really doesn't. Ah, oh, that's such an annoyance. Such an annoyance. Um, okay, so you guys... There is forts blocking you where? Here? Yeah, it's a level 6 fort. Hmm. I kind of want to close off this stuff. I just want to knock out this stuff. And then hit Naples around just enough to get a peace settlement out of them. Start breaking the alliance, their alliance up here. Who is less than interested in, join, in fighting? Just Naples, huh? Okay. It will be a long war, I'm sure. Okay, we lost that one. That's so true, but we didn't lose any artillery. We lost only 11,000 dudes. They lost a little more. But there was a there was a hit on our... Whoa, 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 what? What, what are you doing? No, get out of there, dude. Get ye out of there. here and actually you can split and siege that stuff down if you will and see how that'll work knock the Portuguese units off but 
he's running. That's unfortunate. How are we doing on the naval front? Conversion successful. Cool. More religious conversions available? Yes. Yes, indeed. More coring available. Uh, the Westphalian province. Excellent. How are we doing over here? We're at uh, plus 49% chance of taking out the Portuguese Mexican capital. Just going to pot shot the capitals, try to knock out these units that are attacking in Venezuela. Venezuela's getting their butts kicked. That's where all those guys are at right now. That's okay. We'll see. Maybe we'll deal with that. Maybe we won't. But really what we have to do is break some of these guys here. That really helped their morale. can't be locked in there right what the heck you locked in instantaneously all right uh oh did that just is that the enlightenment i just missed that uh, that's unfortunate okay that capital is taken now i think we'll go down and knock out their other fort here do a little shift consolidate age of absolutism is ending in 121 months because we just had the last uh, last era start now what was that the last institution Surahan really go to Surahan enlightenment began in the Ottoman Empire not that surprising to be honest uh, so growth comes from what? What produces encouraging things for the uh, institutions of the Enlightenment? Institutions, Enlightenment. Have a university, okay? You have a university. It's a 0.47%. And then capital of country with full innovate, innovative ideas. Uh, Diplotech 20 country with scientists, with a scientist, with a philosopher. Uh, neighboring friendly province has enlightenment. Adjacent province has enlightenment. All right, well, it's going to happen. It's just going to be a slow one. And what is the um, cost of this strange enlightenment thing? The delayed cost, or the... the Embracement will do. Culture conversion cost minus 25%. And technology is just as normal. Okay. Present in Germany, no. Uh, we have zero of 196 provinces. Zero percent of our development. All right. That's fine. We will uh, see how this battle here turns out because I think I oops. I don't think I can pull these guys back out. So they need to shift consolidate. They need to shift consolidate. As do they. And you guys can probably pour down into the fight as well. But at your leisure. When you get there, you know. Fight will be over by then, but that'll be next episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And uh, tune in next time to see if we can uh, get one of these guys pushed a little to the side. I'd like to take out this territory, get these fortresses here solidified, and then work our way down into Naples. I think basically break the, the Austrian army. Let the, um, let the Polish and the Lithuanians do their thing. And uh, there's a Spanish fleet there, or a Spanish army there. That's interesting. Um, but we can knock out Spain, for instance. We could push out Spain. We can push out Naples. But Naples will be the first. Once these two castles, or even one of these forts falls, we can work our way through, hopefully, in there by the end of next episode, get Naples out of things. That would be great. Uh, we want to start taking some serious territory here. It's basically no holds barred until the end. Um, coalitions be darned. 
they're not going to get me at all. Uh, but that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thanks for uh, staying, waiting patiently as I had the downtime there. But we are back, and we're going to keep these rolling for you as consistently as we can. Thank you so much, and we will see you in game.